Good morning. Happy Saturday, ladies. I forgot to get up this morning and do a coffee break. I got up and got my coffee this morning. I had programmed it to uh, for 7.30. Got up, had my cup of coffee, and I was chilling, guys, and I forgot all about my coffee break. So I'm going to get you guys on next, well, maybe not next weekend because it's my birthday, but I'm definitely going to have a coffee, coffee break with you guys. I hope you all are having a start to a great weekend, a fabulous weekend. But I'm on my way over to a ladies group that I'm in. It's called the Willing Workers. And we're going to have our kickoff for 2017, talking about all of the plans and uh, things that we want to do for this year to make this a blessed new year and that we can minister to women all across this city. So I hope you all are having a great day. I may do a little coverage today, a little vlogging today. So not sure when this video will get up because I actually been vlogging a lot guys. So I'm going to be uploading a lot of video content and it may seem like it's the previous week because I have so much content and with working and the organizations that I'm a part of and meetings and different things like that. Sometimes I don't have opportunity to edit and upload my content. So it may be a few days or even a week behind, but guys just bear with me. But my goal, one of my goals this year was to be more present on my channel and to allow you guys a little closer look into my life and vlogging and inspiring as much as I can, because that's what this year is about for me. That was one of my goals for 2017 was to be inspirational, more inspirational and encouraging because we're going to need it this year, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy your day and see you around town. I'm about to go get me something to eat. I had thought about um, taking myself somewhere out to eat, but I think I'm just going to walk to a um, sub shop here on the corner by my building and get me some dinner. I think I'm going to stay in tonight. <laughs> Don't know why the light is out in the elevator. This is not cool. Hurry up and open the doors. That was weird. The lights was out inside the elevator. All right. I guess I tell security about it. Somebody get sprayed with some mace tonight. <laughs> All right, in a moment. On the Majestic Grill, they all have outdoor patios. It's right next door to me. Plays and shows come there. Feels like a summer night out here tonight. Light out in the elevator and uh, to the security guard. And he asked me if I had a couple minutes. And he started trying to sell me a mixtape. <laughs> I guess everybody got their hustle, right? But yeah, on my way back to the room. To, I said room, to my apartment and uh, get my grub on. Hey guys, I'm back. I had to go get me a sandwich from the sandwich shop. Got me a chicken Philly, buffalo chicken Philly, delicious, and some chips. I was going to walk to uh, TGI Fridays, but it's about three blocks away, and I really didn't feel like walking down there, and I let it get dark on me, so I decided just to come home and, and just go hit something close. So I just hit the sub shop on the corner. Lenny, shout out to Lenny. <laughs> but anyway... Oh, and I prayed over my food before I came back on camera, so. But, um. I want to talk about trust and loyalty and friendships. It's everything to me. I don't feel there's ever a time when you should be dishonest to people or you should lie. Don't lie to protect me. I'd rather deal with the truth and be able to trust you 
than for you to lie to me because you feel like you're protecting me. Or people who fabricate the truth or they stretch the truth or they leave things out. Those are shady people to me. And I can't see myself trusting or having people that I consider to be really close to me if I can't trust you to be 100% honest about situations. And I'm not going to go into the situation because I'm not going to put this person's business out here. But if they happen to be watching this video, um, yes, I am talking about that particular situation. And it's really hard these days for me to let people in my space because I've been burned a lot when it comes to friendship. And I'm not talking about intimate friendships like a relationship with a man. I'm talking about friendships with women as well because I have a a bond with people that I create when I let you in my space and you're almost like family to me and when that bond is broken it's really hard for me to allow people back into that space and that's one of the things I put out when I, you know, when, when the friendship is established. One of the things I always say is it's, it's very important that you don't lie to me and that you're honest. You know, we may have to have a knockdown drag out disagreement about something. But at the end of the day, once we get through doing that, guess what we're going to do? We're going to go home as friends. But when you lie to me and I find out you lied. That's always sitting in the back of my mind. So. I know everybody don't think like I do. But I just don't like people that lie. It's really hard for me to move past that. And they even actually feel like they're doing it in their best, in my best interest. Lying is never in the best interest of anybody. For, maybe for you, but it's not for the other person. Um, I think that's why I'm single also. It's because I oftentimes see so many women even one of my best friends <laughs> and she's going on um, 15 years of being married. I think it's 15 years, 15, 16 years, which if I had still been married to my second husband, this would make this December would have been 17 years. I think. Yeah. That I would have been married. And this may step on a lot of toes, but these are my feelings. Oftentimes, women will accept a lot of excuses from men. Men can go out and cheat on a woman. And this is not about women not cheating. This is just about this particular situation. Men can go out and cheat on women and that woman, woman will stick with that man through thick and thin. she go through all of the drama, the lies, whatever. And at the end of the day, forgive him. And then brag about how she stuck through it with him. <laughs> Now, when I think about sickness and health, health in the vial, sickness and health, good and bad times, bad times may be financial difficulties or you guys learning to communicate or, you know, your differences in religion, you know, different things like that. I don't feel like good and bad times 
is related to you going through a, a cheating spouse, my opinion. So I'm not going to get past the relationship of my husband that has mistreated me and disrespected me in every sense of the word and brag about how I'm winning <laughs> after I, my marriage when this husband maybe finally get to a point where he is really appreciating who I am because he's older now. And so he's not getting the attention that he may have gotten when we were younger. So he realizes what he has now. But for her to feel like she is accomplished, to me, that's not accomplishment. You know, and shout out to all you women who have kept your cheating spouses or disrespectful spouses or abusive spouses. My domestic violence background from watching my parents and actually some of it being inflicted on me has taught me that I'm not going to allow that in a relationship. And because I get past that in a relationship, it's nothing to brag on. That's not going to make me feel like I weathered the storm because a man beat me up and down the road <laughs> around the corner and back. And then he got help and we made it and I feel accomplished. So I'm giving off course. I kind of got sidetracked. But my point in saying all of that is that I don't want a relationship where I have to be reminded of everything I had to forgive this person for to say that it's, it's a successful relationship. Why is it that we can't have someone who honor us, respect us, the same as we do them? Why is it that when people are getting older that they're not learning from, from their youth that the value of having someone that's loyal, that's loving unconditionally in your life? Why we can't have that? And it's sad, you know, and I don't want to go into a relationship with someone that I can't trust or that I have to think in the back of my mind that it's a potential for this person to lie to me and be dishonest. And that's something that I'll have to um, get past. This might be a little rude eating in front of y'all, but I'm sorry. But I just wanted to be candid. Um, that's where I am. I really actually like my friend a lot. But honestly, I just really don't feel that I can really trust this person because this makes like number three. The third time that it's been something very disrespectful, in my opinion. Um, I think people are selfish. I think they, they think about themselves rather than think about the person that they're in a relationship with or the other person. Because when you think about that person, I think if each person thought about the other person more so than they thought about themselves, relationships would work better. Most of the time, I think people are thinking in terms of themselves and what they're getting and what they're not getting, that they forget that they're not given. And that can actually destroy a relationship. My thoughts tonight, guys. Sometimes it just really don't require an answer, just, just a listening ear. That's where I'm at. So, <laughs> I'm just a little disgusted right now. I'm just disgusted to be disappointed like I was. And I'm the type of person, I like to talk about it. You know, and I actually, I called the person up and I talked to him. And I let him know how I felt. That was important for me to express that. And, um. I just don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, 
I really don't have anything else to say right now. <laughs> kind of in my feelings right now, guys. I'm human. But anyway, I hope you guys go somewhere. Worship tomorrow. Remember God's first. You gotta put God in everything. He always works things out, so I know it's gonna work. This too shall pass. But being a woman, being hum being human, I still have feelings and I kind of feeling tonight. So I'm guess I can, I'm gonna finish my meal here and um work on some editing of some other videos I have uploads to do. And I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog again. Please make sure that you you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for the people that have been commenting on my videos and vlogs. I appreciate you guys so much. You know, you're making me feel very, very good and very motivated and that you're appreciating some of the content that I'm putting out there. Um, still working on um, my subscribership. I'm trying to get to a certain... Um, number I want to get to 1,000 subscribers. I have a great gift. I'm not going to show you a gift yet, guys. When I get to 900 subscribers, I'm going to show you guys the gift that I have. And it is beautiful. Ladies, you appreciate it. It will be for ladies. So, um, so if a man wants to get it, he can also give it to his girl or his wife or whatever. So it's not saying that a guy couldn't win it, but it is a gift that is for women. Put it that way. But thank you guys for viewing this video. I'm going to sign out now because I feel like I'm rambling. <laughs> so have a good night. All right. Talk to you soon.